This will be the biggest, most jam-packed video that you have ever seen in your entire life because there will be log work, forged draw knife, hatchets and axes. There'll be fire, there'll be quads, barbecue. There'll be hammering and chainsaws. This might be the best video that anybody's ever seen in the whole entire world on my channel. See? See how I didn't put anybody down? <laughs> Hey, it's Jay from Simple Woods Life. How's it going today? We're building ourselves a set of sawhorse logs. Uh, sawhorse, uh, cedar sawhorse, say that 30 times. Sawhorse, cedar, cedar sawhorse, cedar sawhorse, sawhorse cedars. We're building ourselves a set of seahorse, cedars, stods, cedar sawhorse. Hi, it's Jay from Simple Woods Life. And today, we're building a set of cedar sawhorses that the jumbo can sit on temporarily. And I got a couple of pieces of cedar that I think will work pretty good. So uh, we'll get to that. I uh, gotta clean up some crap and we'll go from there. So that's just the world's dead easiest saw buck I put together with some scrap PT 2 by I had hanging around and uh, four leg bolts. Cut the bottom at a 45 and the rest of it is easy peasy. It just helps me uh, keep the wood up off the ground. There's a ton of things I'd change. Those supports near the top I had to move down because I always seem to nick them with the chainsaw. <laughs> I don't know if that's hot because uh because it's relatively fresh or it's hot because it's been sitting next to the fire. <laughs> well today the plan is to put together sort of a sawhorse system. It's a temporary storage for the John boat. And we didn't do a lot of hunting last year. It was so hot. Actually I'm not sure if I did any duck hunting. It was so hot. Ducks don't really fly when it's you know, t-shirt and shorts weather. Not the way you want them to. Anyway, in a future video, building a duck blind in the John boat. But I just got to move the John boat out so I can put the, um, the 
the tinner in the in the shop and work on it. But I thought I'd get a bunch of scraps burned first, empty up the trailer, uh, got a bunch of kindling now to start fires. So that's a nice accomplishment. And uh, see if we can't figure out some kind of a system to build sawhorses. I don't know. Alrighty, everybody, here we go. These are some cedar sawhorses. And as you can see right there, I have drawn a six foot cedar log and it's fashioned horizontally. How's it staying up in the air? Well, why don't you wait a second and I'll show you. Here's a couple of little cedar legs. I'd say they're about two feet. And, uh,. I'm gonna put a third leg at the back. What? Yeah, that's a tripod. I'm not sure if that's gonna work, but that's what I'm doing. Now one, one would just be for gymnastics. One of those balance beams, you know? I like those balance beams, um, but I'm not very good on them. I mean, I only played with them a couple times when I was in grade school. And they were called something like a horse, a pummel horse or something? I don't know. Anyway, there's a second uh, log sawhorse. And here's a little bit of nature. We're putting in some grass and some flowers. And uh, that's a black-eyed Susan, I believe. And that's the indication of marsh. Now, what are these sawhorses for? <laughs> They're for the John boat. Well, where's the John boat? And who's this happy little fella? Uh, if it looks familiar, it's because it's me. That's right, everybody. And behind me, like a child with a sled, I'm holding on to my John boat. And that's a pretty good looking boat. And there's a bench for me. And there's a bench for you. Little trolling motor on the back. Just floating in the water. Am I waving? Nah. I'm holding something. What am I holding? Is it some sort of a... Wait a second. Was I fishing? I was fishing in my John boat. And there's dinner! <laughs> what a gorgeous looking trout. We just brought that in. Brought that in. Huh? What else can I show you? Maybe a little bit of shading here to really pop it out 3D. Guys, that's not a photograph. This is a drawing. And I drew it. Me. Jay from Simple Woods Life. I mean, that's probably the greatest picture of the sawhorse legs I'm going to build ever. I'll flesh these trees out a little bit though, eh? Make them look nice. Now you know you're in the forest, right? Something's always watching in the forest though. What could it be? Uh-oh. Is that a black bear? Just out in the open? No, I don't think so. Oh, he's hiding in the bushes. Okay. Hello, Mr. Bear. You've got a giant nose. And you're hiding in the bushes. And nobody can see you. Maybe you want my trout. I'm all alone out here. Maybe I'll add a friend. Hey, everybody. It's my puppy. My puppy is happy to see me. And apparently has human hands. And is waving to me as I bring the John boat up from the water's edge. Ah, almost perfect. Oh yeah. You know it was gonna happen. You know there's no way that we could have architectural drawings of this caliber without drawing in Miss Lady, everybody. That's right, Miss Lady. My love, my heart, my babaloo. Miss Lady, she's waving to me today. Something in her hand, maybe it's a satin handkerchief. I don't know, but I'm in love with her. So I draw little hearts. And that is an architectural drawing, bruh. Peace out.
There's the John boat, and uh, all of that is, uh, that's the duck blind. Hopefully there's nothing living in there. Hello? Is there anything living in here? Anywho, gonna have to measure the, measure the beam of the boat, and then uh, we'll determine how big the sawhorses have to be. And I'm just gonna put it here. I cleared out just a tiny little area. Um, there will be, actually, I'll show you uh, the canoe rack area. Hold on. Certainly I'm not gonna be ever accused of being stealthy in these boots. I don't know why. They've just decided to start squeaking, so. Here we go. I got squeaky work boots now. As long as my hunting boots don't squeak. It doesn't matter how many times I see a little hoof print in the mud. Uh, it always gets me excited. It always, always feels like I've been visited by a magical forest fairy. So behind me, That's the way to the river, and that's the boardwalk I gotta build before the summer ends. Because uh, you can see it's pretty swampy. So the reason that we're doing a temporary um, John boat sawhorse thing is just to get it out from uh, where its current position is. Because where it will live is down by the river. We'll be building a canoe rack. And then, the John boat's so light, I can use the canoe wheels um, to just take it down the boardwalk and drop it in the water. Here's where it's going to go. This is the general area of it. So then the thinking is, you'll come up from the river there, and there's the canoe stand. And while I'm still playing with um, the way it's going to work, the plan at the moment is some sort of a shelf for the John boat to sit in and then like a bracket on either side for the canoes, but we'll see. Okay, stop it! So I think I'll probably go five or six feet um, for the sawhorse. Um, I'm debating on if I do two or three of them and they're not going to be huge or heavy off the ground or anything like that. One thing I am going to do is three legs instead of four, just because of uneven ground. I think it would be a nightmare to try and get it like level with four legs, like I've done with the benches out at the wood lot. Um, but if I do three, like a tripod, literally a tripod, then I think it'll have a lot easier time trying to get a uh, sort of relatively level. And again, it's not, it's not the permanent position for this thing. Uh, so yeah, six feet, six feet should do it. I honestly do not know what I'm doing at this point, but um, I'm just gonna try and use logic and we'll see what happens.
I don't know if there's some sort of rhyme or reason if I should be going one direction or the other. Uh, I don't know if it's like going with the grain or against the grain. Like, I, honest, I honestly don't know. So I'm just kind <clears> of <throat> doing what's peeling it. I'd originally thought I could use uh, a different tool, but maybe I'll do that after. Not my spoke shave, my uh, draw knife. But it wasn't really giving me what I wanted. Well, that was a, a little bit of, that was a little bit of work. I've never done that. But uh, when I do the um, canoe rack and when I do the the snug, I'm gonna build a little cabin uh, probably next year. But when I do that, I'm gonna be doing it out of logs because as you can see, we got a few cedars around here. Um, And in that short couple of, what, I don't know, half an hour, I've learned a lot of stuff. I learned I was going too heavy with my axe at first. Um, I think I've got my blades sharp, but I think I might want to sharpen them a bit more. Um, I'm still not sure if you're supposed to go one way or the other, like if you go up the tree or down the tree, so we'll figure that. I mean, I don't know. Trial and error, as far as that goes. And uh, I don't know if the draw knife is necessary or not, but... Um, I picked that up from Lee Valley Tools not too long ago and I was kind of stoked to use it, so it seemed to do something. So that one was, we said, what, six feet? I think that's probably closer to seven. I'll trim it up. Um, I'll do another for the other side and then uh, I guess legs. I'll figure out how they go in. Um, yeah, so. Here we go again. Here we go again. That was actually really fun. I like that. Good times. Good chat. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Wood. You like to have a chat?
Yeah. All right. I'm not sure <clears throat> this is necessary at all. In fact, I think I might be making a bigger mess. But I wanted to get familiar with the tool. Because when I do the rest of the log work, I do believe this is something I'm going to do to give it that hand hewn kind of look. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> so I might as well do the whole, do the whole log if I'm gonna be using these as legs. That's probably three legs in this, eh? <sighs> well, I guess that other log will be the other three. Okay. So I'm going to cut both of these so they're the same length and then I'll see what I'm working with size-wise, you know? Give or take, that'll be the height. Okay, and I only have a I have a one inch hole on that one inch hole on that saw. I think I wanna be going into the ground. Made a plate.
Wee bit more. Just a wee bit more, I think. Fuck yeah. All right. That's one. <laughs> Five more.
touch those holes. So, so first time didn't work. I got I, I, I did the circles right. <clears throat> I didn't do math. I have to make the holes deeper. But then also the placement of them. I didn't do math. I didn't take into account that the two legs on a diagonal for the tripod versus the single leg at the front would be at three different heights. Especially with the way I had originally uh, put them in spot. So I'm gonna have to move those holes, and I don't care, there's a couple extra holes underneath. It'll just make it lighter, and that's nice. It's nice to have a lighter log! <sighs> you know, after this, I gotta go and uh, charcoal barbecue up some chicken wings with Alabama white sauce. If got enough battery, I'll show you how to do that too. Anyway, here is a sound bite for the beginning of the video. Let's play with logs. It's cool, you move pencils. Yeah. I'm trying to hammer these posts into that to make tripods. Yeah. So what do you mean you don't know what I'm doing? I don't think I can help. That's my point. Also, I got a blister on my thumb really bad because of the axe. <laughs> Tripod at Canadian Tire. Mm -hmm. No. Why would I buy twelve dollar sawhorses? Seems like a lot of work for this. <laughs> and what's the idea of like two legs on one side and one on the other? This thing always has trouble finding balance, like on uneven ground. Mm. So I figured a tripod mm. might make it a lot easier. Does make sense. Right, to get. So now you need to make a second one of those? Yeah, I've got all the parts, but. Oh, okay. <sighs> it's neat. I think it'll work until we get the uh, other thing.
exactly what I'd pictured when I made my little draw ring. Let's take the front legs down a little bit. smackers that doesn't look like much <laughs> well it looks like the drawings anyway but that's exactly it that's all I wanted was just a simple little uh, three-legged sawhorse I think in hindsight I probably could have done four legs we'll see how this does I can always cut two more legs and figure that out after the fact but solid That's a purely functional project. Huh? Purely functional. Uh, there's nothing aesthetically beautiful about this. And truth be told, that was an awful lot of work. <laughs> I probably should have just bought those uh, sawhorse brackets at the hardware store and put like 2x12s in. Um, I really didn't think that through, but you know what, F that, I've never stripped logs before, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, I've never stripped logs before. So while I could have just bought chainsaw, or sorry, I could have just bought sawhorse brackets at the hardware store, I have never stripped logs, which means um, I'm one step up for when I'm actually gonna start doing some stuff with some real, like, some of these big trees. Uh, and I'm gonna have to look into that because I'm sure there's a better way than a hatchet and an ax. Maybe not. Maybe not, who knows. It's hot. I'm a stink. But, I also hear My dog going nuts. All right, wow, cool. I'll go figure that out. So anyway, aesthetically, maybe it looks a little bit weird. It does look a little bit weird, but it'll hold the John boat for now. It was an experiment in stripping logs. I know definitely what I'd do next time. I'd pay a little bit more attention to the holes, um, like the, uh, the width of the pencil tops. I'd start out with a little bit straighter logs off the top. I had some fun though. That was fun. And now I know something I didn't know uh, at eight o'clock this morning. So that's a pretty good day. I've just leveled up. <laughs> Plus one, new level, new powers. Um, it's weird as hell looking, but that's what I sketched. Perfectly functional. Uh, I don't know. What are you gonna do? Simple woods life. That wasn't simple, but it was woods. And this is life. Let's go make some dinner.
cold, beers earned. Yo, now we're gonna do up a really quick uh, recipe on the charcoal grill. Hey, why not show you? Cause it's one of my favorites. Chicken wings with Alabama white sauce. And the wings have got this really spicy uh, kicking kind of. We're gonna start this up. We're gonna get it going. We're gonna have a great time. We're gonna barbecue up uh, some barbecue stuff. And uh, barbecue mother. Bonus. We still got a bit of charcoal in here that's perfectly fine. And some apple wood from when we smoked some ribs on Canada. Well, so I'll just leave that in place. Yeah. <laughs> that was dumb. Hi. We're gonna make some dry rub, our winglings. Let's go. Bing bang, paprika. We're gonna use three tablespoons of this. Boom, kapow, jamatam, bamalam. Brown sugar, f the world. Let's get going with that. Chew, get the down. Two tablespoons of salt. That's one. There's two. Do you, do you like garlic powder, kids? Boom. Onion powder. Go oh, one, go oh, two. Oh, that's so nice. Black pepper. They say about a teaspoon. Ba -da -da -da. Teaspoon. Teaspoon of black pepper. Let's have a teaspoon. If you can't have a teaspoon, then I don't know who you are. Singing songs, that's about a teaspoon. We gotta get that guai. You know. You gotta get it, we get it, we get it, we get it. You gotta get it on, get it, get it. Paprika, brown sugar, salt, garlic powder, onion powder, guajillo powder, and black pepper. Whisk. Mm. Alabama white sauce, f the world. Get ourselves a little lemon. A little lemon is all you need. Get ourselves a little lemon. A little lemon for you and for me. If you like to have some lemon, then you might be a friend of mine. This is a lazy way of catching seeds. I'm not a chef, but I just want three tablespoons of lemon juice. Oh, shit. No, I don't, because I'm cutting this one in half. Oh. All right, one and a half tablespoons of lemon juice. Cutting it in half. Oh, I just killed a whole lemon for nothing. How many lemons died making this? This is the best sauce on the planet. That's not, but it's up there. I'm gonna grab some mayonnaise. We like to use half the fat. Well, we got 17,000 steps today, and I'm gonna put it in this measuring cup. Uh-oh, spill some on the counter. Well, I'm gonna leave that on the counter. There's one cup of mayo nuts. It's pretty fun. All the kids love the mayonnaise. Apple cider vinegar. One, two, and that's 0.672. This is horseradish sauce. This is the best sauce ever. Four tablespoons of horseradish. Feel the burn. Wow. Add horseradish to my shopping list. Okay, I added horseradish. White pepper, need a teaspoon. It doesn't fit. Get a teaspoon of white pepper. Half a teaspoon of salt. Quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. Quarter teaspoon of cayenne, because you know, not hot enough. Some nice Dijon mustard. A little bit more never hurt. Oh, it's good to have too much mustard. Mayonnaise and apple cider vinegar and horseradish. Lemon juice and Dijon mustard. White pepper, salt, garlic powder and cayenne powder. 
You can call it the greatest thing that ever did happen, but I call it Alabama white sauce. First, I'm gonna taste it. Pow! That's going in the fridge. And then we drizzle it on the wings. Perfect. Wing rub time. If you've watched my previous videos, I'm gonna give you one guess where I get my wings. Yeah, it's from a butcher. We don't get wings at the grocery store because grocery stores are <laughs> Got myself some wingly wings and a ding a diggly ding. Cause I got my wingity wings. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And I put my rubbity rub all up on my wings. Cause I love to have some wings. Alabama chicken wings. Do you like to have some wings? Yes, sir, I do. I would like to have chicken wings with some Alabama chicken wings. Alabama chicken wings. It's a chickity wiggity wiggity wingy ding. You got your chickity chickity wings. Gonna go take your spring. Cause I got chicken wings. Remember kids, chicken's delicious, but it will murder you. So, you gotta wash your hands real good. <laughs> if you dig the content I'm making, even if you don't, I would really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Subscribe and be a subscriber, that would be cool. Because then I could keep making videos, which I'm gonna do anyway. But you might as well come along for the ride. This off over on one side. Ow! Fudge! 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 Whoops! Stepped on hot coal. Should have worked with clubs. <laughs> Bound to happen. Also, how tough is it that I yelled fudge? Mother. Burn my flesh. <sighs> all right, throw a piece of hickory on. So yeah, this is all offset, right? You got your charcoal over here, and you got nothing over there. So all we's gonna do is line those bad boys up. I like to put the drums at the front because uh, they get a little bit more meat on them, so they can take a bit more heat. That's my theory. Charcoal barbecue, what you gonna do? What you gonna do with the charcoal barbecue? Charcoal barbecue, charcoal barbecue, what you gonna do? I said charcoal barbecue, on a charcoal barbecue, a doodly do. It's pretty fun. Nice. I like to do a cross section sort of out. Can I go sit? You can, my love.
gumbo. The racks may have looked a little wackadoo, but uh, when they're all put together, like, what do you want? Oh, jumbo, jumbo rack, hand built. All it cost was my time. What time, what effort. All it cost was a lot of time and effort. Jumbo, ta da. Jumbo rack, ta da da da. Jumbo. Jumbo rack, getting eaten alive. But I got a jumbo rack. Jumbo, Jumbo, I got a Jumbo rack, I got a Jumbo.